Hello guys, thank you for joining me for another video and this today is going to be just a simple video about what you can do, how you can show your support, how you can change things. Uh, sorry, kitty's here. <laughs> I can't help it. So let's get into the video. Alright, so we're going to watch this video together. It's not too long. This is the Officer Tatum. He follows a lot of, he'll show you stuff that happens to cops, basically. That's his thing. That he and, um, oh no, what's her name? Candace Owens. There it is. I found it. <laughs> they tour together to do the Blexit movement as well, but mostly if you go to his YouTube, is going to be about law enforcement and culture. So we're going to watch this together because this is a perfect example of what we, the people, this silent majority that's out here can do to make a difference in our community. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it and let's go. I think, I think, I think it's enough people in here. Y'all, the rest, the rest of the people will show up. Ladies and gentlemen, the power of the people, the power of influence. The power of the good guy has paid off royally in this situation with Officer Corbin Seward. Y'all have no idea the amount of backlash that this young man had gotten because he made a simple statement of telling a person, are you going to attack a person like this lady? Then you ain't got nothing to worry about if you're not going to do it. Because of that, his chief, and all of the command staff became cowards to a certain degree in bowing to the mob. Yep, for and sure. And if people don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> I'll just show you a little bit of a little bit uh, of a clip so you guys will kind of it kind of jog your memory. I'm talking about this officer. I'm thinking that everybody watching it know what I'm talking about, but let me let me preface it real quick, and then we're gonna get around to the get around. <laughs> so uh, this young officer went viral. Corbin Seward went viral. He's been viral before, but this time it was it was pretty viral, and there were some negative repercussions that that occurred because of it. And obviously, we know it's bullcrap. So I know a lot of you guys probably remember this clip of the officer there, you know, and the, and, the, and the guy was saying something crazy to him. He responded to him, and it went viral. I'm gonna let you guys hear what he said. Are you gonna stab somebody like her? No, okay. she, but she I called y'all for help. Nobody. Cause you talking about get your goofy. Okay, and okay. hey, you just said that on camera. This shit going viral. This. Oh yeah. So the officer mentioned to him the guy was antagonizing him the whole time. Yeah. And saying that are you gonna shoot us like you did, Makabra? And he said, are you gonna stab somebody like she did? Okay, <laughs> then miss me with that. Pretty much. They ran. They ran him through the ringer. They took his badge. Uh, they took his gun. They took his arrest powers. He's sitting on a desk. He he pretty he can't be on the streets. You know, rumor rumor has it that the guy was in special assignments, that he was an excellent officer, and they had just ripped him of everything because BLM came out there crying. However, like I However. said in my video, the video that I made before this, go look it up if you if you still confused. The people spoke. I made the video, I told you guys to go act, and you guys blew up the phones. Their phone system didn't work. <laughs> it couldn't work. They couldn't even call people or take calls because y'all had called so much and showed so much love for that officer and told them you need to do the right thing and reinstate him because That's of your right. efforts. People were telling me, they were reaching out to him like 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 he was the second coming of Christ. They call they reaching out to him. They they trying to fix it. Y'all was on their head. They trying to fix it. Reinstated the man. They reinstated him. Less than 24 hours later, they put the man back in the, in the position that he should have been in. Now I don't know if they paying him like they supposed to or not. However, they put him back where he's supposed to be. You know, I don't know if they're going to compensate his wages. I don't think they I are. So. But we raise money. We raise money. Y'all raise money. So basically, in this whole thing, what I wanted to show you is just a little piece, okay? 
the the people who are running around, they're being they're acting stupid, they're acting like children, they're burning things down, are not the people who would control things if we would stand up and do something about it. If you saw somebody burning down stuff in your neighborhood and you just sat there and did nothing, then that's why they were able to burn down their neighborhood. I I have always been the person who's like, well, what can we do about it? What can I do about it, if anything? Can we just walk out there and tackle the guy? Like, why is this guy burning stuff down? It takes courage a little bit to go out there and say, hey, stop that. Because then they're going to turn it on you. Well, once they turn it on you, though, they stop doing what they're doing and you can then change the situation once you stand up i've seen it more than one time once you stand up and say something it gives other people courage to do the same thing and all of a sudden it's not you versus that person it's you and whoever else plucks up the courage after you do to join you people forget about this i think people just think it's going to be just them doing or trying to make a change it's not as soon as you get up as soon as you say something as soon as you encourage people hey we can make this change hey we can do this then it will change this is what this is why blm stays a they have like all these pocket groups because these groups get together and encourage each other on hey let's go burn this down hey they're doing this hey they're doing this and they start using examples and bouncing off each other we as people individuals who are like no we you know the men and women before us built this society and created such a wonderful society that we don't have to worry about things like you know starving to death we don't have to worry even if you believe in like food deserts where there aren't any fresh fruits and vegetables there's still food in that area you're not starving you're not you know you don't really have to worry about housing you don't really have to worry about income most of the time if you're poor there's only two reasons you choose to be or there's some mental health thing going on where you can't work okay so nowhere else in the world can you just choose to be poor <laughs> uh, i mean most of the time you're poor because that's just the way life is I mean, <clears throat> I mean, don't even get me started down that one because this is just about you. If you see something wrong, say something, encourage other people to say something, get a little, get a, get a letter writing campaign going, you know, however it is that you have a way to talk to other people, whether you have a YouTube channel, whether you just go talk to other people, uh, you can, as an individual, do a press conference with your local press. You can write into the, your local newspaper or their, you know, website. You can call into your local news and your local radio station. You can make noise. And I think for me, that is the best way to do something. I haven't written any, like, I, I that's not true. I wrote an opinion piece one time. It was not, you know, printed, but I still did it. It's still there. If more and more people started to started to do that then they'll start printing it they'll they'll make you know the news will make a story about it they will interview people it'll become a thing all right but the only way it does is if we the people say we want to talk about this this needs to be brought to light or this needs a change or that needs a change and that is how you tell operations like blm and all these communist parties says you you can't have america you can't we are going to keep it based on the bible because even though a lot of our founders did not believe in christ they did say that the bible was the best thing to build a good society on that's just uh, benjamin franklin is the one that did that they a lot of them were raised on it a lot of them learned to read with it okay so the bible has been central to this nation since the beginning <clears throat> all right so you start looking at this stuff this is where we're gonna stay on that where that's what our what our nation's moral center is gonna be that's what this nation is going to use you know what i'm saying so <clears throat> as you're going about your day as you're seeing things you don't like 
make a video, write your Congress people, definitely do that. Okay. I don't know how, how often they actually see it or if it's just a secretary that sees it, but I do know based on the past, excuse me, that if they get enough letters about one thing, then they will come out and start talking about it. it they'll pay attention to it. So guys, as much as possible, you know, protest, but not in the way of like burning things down, peaceful protest with signs, write your letters, get in contact with any kind of press you can do what you can. Officer Tatum, he started a campaign. I think it was a Kickstarter or something where he got money for this officer who, even if they're not getting paid, he'll still have money to feed his family and himself, etc. So that kind of thing you can give to, you can find things like that going on and give to it. Be active in how your future and how your law is going to be created. Because if you're not active, then we will have things like we had with the Chauvin trial, which I don't think that video is out yet, but you will have things like you had with the Chauvin trial where people are just so scared that their house is going to burn down. Somebody's going to come see them at their house, etc., that they decide to make judgment based on that, which is not a just verdict. It's not a, he didn't even basically have the jury of his peers because they're so worried about what the consequences might be. All right. Actually, I think when I post this one, Yes, when I post this one, the Chauvin trial video will already be out. So anyway, guys, remember to pray and read your Bible. You can, even one man, one woman, can make a difference in the world. Don't think you can't. But you have to be willing to say, okay, well, if I do this, I might lose something. I don't know what. Maybe you won't lose anything. Maybe you'll have just, maybe it'll just be people call you names or something. It's worth it. Protect your future, protect your freedom, protect the freedom for your friends, etc. All right, guys, remember to pray, read your Bible, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.